It's called the A330 MRTT or Multi-Role Tanker Transport System and one of its tasks is to provide fuel to fighter aircraft in mid-air and it does so through the use of 3D technology and for the first time the Republic of Singapore Air Force's MRTT took part in exercise forging Sabre in Idaho. Faraz Jaraimi was in the thick of the action. Taking off from Boise, capital city of Idaho, the A330 MRTT or multi-role tanker system hits the skies. Looking to provide fuel for fighter jets. The F-16 and F-15 SG line up and take up their positions, ready for air-to-air -air refueling. The MRTT extends a boom, setting fuel into the fighter jet's receptacle. This is what happens in the cockpit during an air-to-air -air refueling. Seated next to me is First Sergeant Jonathan. He has 3D glasses on, looking at a screen which gives him a realistic view of what's happening outside. So the fighter plane will come in from the rear before moving into contact position. Every time we fly and we conduct refueling, it's always a different scenario. Different altitudes do affect how the aircraft flies and how we fly the boom. I'm always reacting to that and trying to uh, conduct the conduct the refueling in the safest way that I can. The MRTTs can carry up to 111,000 kilograms of fuel. When you are operating in a small airspace, you will always have sufficient gas because the distance that you travel is not that far. But in a larger airspace, you have to go further. You have to think about, all right, how much fuel do I have? How much fuel does the tanker is able to give me? And then how can I work within these constraints to still ensure that uh, we achieve mission success? The RSAF has four MRTTs and these also boast airlift capabilities. Each one can carry 37,000 kilograms of cargo or 266 personnel.